Hi hey guys, I've been getting a lot of questions about my auto exec and my config file. So I wanted to go through some of the options that you may have for that really quickly. So firstly, you need to enable your console. To do that, uh, you need to add dash console or plus con underscore enable one in launch options. And this will be located in your Steam library. So you open up Steam, you go to library, you go to Dota 2, you right click, click on properties and then you set your launch options here I have a lot of other options uh, that aren't particularly important but the most important one is the first one plus con underscore enable one alternatively you can type dash console the difference in between the two is that dash console will have the console pop up every time you load up Dota and plus con underscore enable one will enable the console but it won't pop up every time you load up Dota so once you have that set up, you enable a hotkey inside the Dota 2 client, and then every time you want to alter things in a console, you just press that console hotkey and then type in a command. Alternatively, you can have an auto exec file that uh, automatically does all these things for you. And I'm not gonna go through the details of how to create an auto exec file because there's many resources available for that, but just what brief options I think are useful in the console and auto exec and which ones I use. So I actually only use these four. The first one is no frame drops when tabbed. Engine underscore no focus sleep zero. This is for when I'm watching games inside the Dota 2 client and then I tab out to do some other stuff or look up stats or whatever it may be. And if you're tabbed a lot or if you're watching games in client, then you should definitely have it at engine no focus sleep zero uh, so you don't lose FPS while you're tabbed. Another one that I have is to press a certain a keyboard button to have it bound to a chat wheel message. This is probably most useful if you want to take down the Roshan timer or like take a glyph timer or something like that and you just press a button and it lists a game time right there for you and you don't have to go through all the trouble with the chat wheel. And to do that you just do bind, your hotkey, and then chat wheel say a number. What each of the chat wheel number says is listed at dota2.gamepedia.com slash chat wheel. 57 is the current game time in allied chat. So take Roshan, press N, boom, game time. Increased hero minimap size. Dota minimap hero size 1200 is what I use. Default is 600. Most people recommend around 800 to 1000. I recommend larger than 1000. Uh, enable FPS and ping on screen. Net underscore graph one. That's not all of it but it is the simple one that just enables this thing to be shown usually it's like huge and down here so if you want to alter it make it smaller and move it to a more convenient location you're going to have to use more net underscore graph commands to adjust it perfectly it's going to vary depending on your resolution and what uh, screen size you use so uh, I'm not going to list the specifics right over here, but it will show your FPS as well as your ping. I'm in a local lobby right now, so my ping is zero, but it will uh, fluctuate after every tick. Uh, so these are the only four that I use. Some other ones that I found useful that other people may use is right click deny, Dota Force right click attack one. So instead of having to attack, press the attack command and then click on your allied creep every time you want to deny, you can just right click and deny on the spot. I do not use this because I find that, um, oh, firstly, I'm used to it. Secondly, uh, I didn't like the fact that when I wanted to move teammates, move, uh, sorry, follow teammates, I had to move click on them instead of um, just right clicking on them. But I think that's a pretty small, pretty small thing compared to this i think this would actually be pretty useful uh disable camera zoom dota camera disable zoom one this is for like misclicks with the scroll wheel if you accidentally scroll a lot and it messes with your view in game then you should disable one change health bar ticks uh, this is particularly useful when you're playing axe i went through this in another video dota health per vertical marker 250 is the default uh, if you play like a specific hero a lot, like let's say Lina, and you want to see how much HP they have before you Laguna, you can change it to a specific interval that you want. And lastly, a very useful one is minimum time after the mouse enters the minimap before accepting a move command. Dota minimap misclick time. This one is particularly useful if you're radiant, uh, because if you're radiant, you're usually 
clicking down and left because that's closer to the radiant base. So let's say you're getting chased at the mid T2 and you want to go back to base. So you just start constantly clicking on your bottom left of your screen to try and go home. And the minimap's right there. So if you accidentally go a little bit too far to the southwest, you might actually click on the complete opposite side of the map where you're going to because the top right of the minimap is a dire base. So if you go a little bit too far and you misclick there, you just run straight back into the enemy and then you just straight die. Um, and that is a you know somewhat common mistake. So to counteract that, you can have a minimum time after the mouse enters the minimap before accepting a move command. I think it's a millisecond, so if you want it to be like half a second before it accepts a move command, then you'll be pretty safe from misclicks like that. And for a full list of commands, you can visit this or you can Google around for other people's config files. Again, I'm a pretty bare bones sort of guy, and this is particularly useful when you're like, playing on many different computers or you you know play at a friend's house you don't have to configure that many things so i like to go with uh pretty much this is the only one that i change when i cast on different computers so thank you guys for watching uh, i'm not going to actually post my auto exec just because it should be tailored to what you like what's useful to you and what uh, you want to do with your auto exec so thank you guys for watching please subscribe at youtube.com slash dota thank you guys once again